You already know. Thanks for tuning in the Cross TV Network. You know, that's Cross with a K. I appreciate everybody that's out here, you know, tuned in, showing that love and that support. Definitely appreciate y'all because y'all could be anywhere in the world, but y'all here with me. And you know how I feel about time, man. I gave up over about 26 years of my life, man. I could never give back, so I would never waste your time, man. I just wanted to give y'all a quick update on a few things. First and foremost, man, you know, um, I want to salute the um, Snow and Zeke Black and all of them, you know what I'm saying? You know, we was on the, um, we, we, was, we was chopping it up, you know what I'm saying, over the clubhouse and everything. You know, we came to understanding about certain things, man, because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Those, you know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with them. We got personal relationships and everything like that, man. But the thing about Mel was that, you know what I'm saying? And the issue with me was, is that I just ain't feel like a lot of things that dudes are saying on social media wasn't right and it wasn't for social media because you got individuals that's named being called and everything. These people's up north. They don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Nothing like that or whatever have you. And these people names is being mentioned and, and you know what I'm saying? That's not healthy. So whether I deal with a person or I don't deal with a person, you know what I'm saying? It's neither here nor there. It's rules to this shit and I follow them to a T. So if a dude is doing some out of pocket, you know what I'm saying, it's only right, it's only, you know what I'm saying, that, that's my obligation, that's my duty to uplift you. If you chose not to be uplifted by it, whatever, then that's on you, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I just talking to them brothers, you know what I'm saying, I don't got no bad feelings toward them brothers, you know what I'm saying? And the whole thing is about showing the youth and everything, like, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, um, leading by example, man, you know, that's one thing that I'm, I'm doing is leading by example, man, and I just want, you know, everybody to be on the same page, man, you know, a lot of us went through a lot of things, and the reason why, you know, we do certain things that we do, but one thing about me, regardless of whatever's going on, B, I'm not going to lie on motherfuckers, I'm not clout chasing, I'm not doing nothing like that, man, my life is now... It is about helping others and everything, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, stopping some of the shit that's going on out here in these streets, man. Speaking of that, right, with these streets, man. Um, today and three days ago, right? Today, um, around my way in Billingsley Terrace, you know, in Morris Heights and everything, man. Um, it was a home invasion, man. Dude was dressed up with a UPS, uh, um, uh, um, uh, you know, uniform on. And a lady opened up her door and, and they got tied up and they got robbed. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then the Batanzas Project over there in the South Bronx on Brook Avenue, man. Um, a person in a FedEx uniform did the same thing to a family in Batanzas. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm going to tell y'all, man, is I put your family on notice, man. You know, and there's something like that going on in Forest Project as a dude right now knocking on people's doors, you know what I'm saying, and um, exposing himself and trying to get in these people's apartments. So I'm letting y'all know this so y'all be on alert. If y'all know y'all don't have a package from UPS or whatever the case may be, don't open your door. Make sure they show you some type of formal ID. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that their faces is completely exposed and y'all take pictures of these people's faces and do all that just to protect yourself and your family, man. Because once them doors close and you in handcuffs, it ain't no telling what these crazy people would do to y'all in y'all own home to y'all family, man. You know, I don't want to wake up one day and hear no tragedies. You know what I'm saying? So... Y'all be safe out here and, and y'all listen to what I'm saying. Know what I'm saying y'all take heed to what I'm saying, right? I got another thing I want to I want to I want to speak about real fast, right? It's gonna take a couple of more minutes. Since when it been cool or since when it been safe to sit down and fix your mouth to dis to to disrespect.